Hello children. In the last video, we have seen that multiplication of two-digit number by two-digit number. Based on that, today we are going to solve story problem. Then let us see the first story problem. There are thirty-two rabbits in a garden. Each one was given twelve carrots. How many carrots were given in all? What they are asking for one rabbit. For one rabbit, how many carrots they are giving? Twelve carrots they are giving. How many? Twelve carrots. How many? Totally, how many rabbits are there? Thirty-two rabbits are there. For that, how many carrots are required to give for all thirty-two rabbits? Per rabbit is giving twelve twelve carrots. So let us do that one. Thirty-two into twelve. Like this cross, we have to do multiplication. Thirty-two multiplied by twelve. I hope you can do now. Let us see one more time. Two twos are uh, always. We have to select the first number two uh, from twos are first. This two, then it will come to three. Two twos are four. Two threes are six. Now I have to start from ones are, but one is in the tens place. So I have to leave one place. It is must you have to do when you are multiplying with the second digit number. The first place should be. A replace by plus sign, or you can replace by zero also. Now one two is a two, one three is a three. Don't adjust two and one here only. It should come one number below another number. It is not like that. I have to finish it here only thirteen. If you write thirteen here, this three will be for which number you are going to add. You will get confused. Don't adjust in this area only. Just write it is clearly. Okay, now four plus plus is nothing but I have told it is plus is nothing but zero. Four plus zero is four. Six six plus two is eight and three. So how many carrots are required? Three eighty four carrots are required. Required for how many rabbits are there? Thirty two rabbits. Okay. Thirty-two rabbits. Now the second one. What is the second one? Pili has twenty-eight pets. Pili has twenty-eight pets. The food for each pet for a day cost twenty-five rupees. How much money does Pili spend every day? See how many pets she is having. Twenty-eight pets for one pet. Ah, uh, the one day cost for food is twenty-five rupees. For one pet, how much rupees does she required? Twenty-five rupees she required. Totally twenty-eight pets are there. So how much money she need for one day? They are asking. Again, multiply like this. Twenty-eight multiplied by twenty-five. Now five eights are forty. Four carry zero. Five twos are ten. Ten plus four is fourteen. Okay, now again I have to start from twos, so I will write here plus. Next, two I have to start from twos. Two eights are sixteen. Six carry one. This is finished. Just round off that one. Two eights are sixteen. Six carry one. Two twos are four. Now don't add four. You just do one plus one. Two twos are four. Four plus one is five. Now zero. Four plus six is ten. Carry one. One plus five is six. Six plus one is seven. So per day cost is cost for how many pets? Twenty eight pets is equals to how many rupees? Seven hundred rupees. I hope it is clear the big problem. Next comes the seventh one. There are Thirty-six dog biscuits in a each packet. One packet is having thirty-six dog biscuits. How many dog biscuits are there in twenty-four packets? They are asking. See, one packet containing how many? Thirty-six biscuits. Okay. So totally, how many packets are there? Twenty-four are there. So how much biscuits will be there in twenty-four packets? They are asking. Again, do cross multiplication. Uh, you can write any number first, any number second. You can take multiplier and multiplicand. It is your wish here. Now, 
Now I have to go for 6 za 6 4 za 24. Okay. 6 2 za 6 2 za 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. Plus. Now this is over. Just round off. Next. 3 4 za 12. 2 carry 1. 3 2 za 6. 6 plus 1. 7. Now add these two. 4 plus 2 is 6. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8. So, in 24 packets, in 24 packets, there are, there are 864 biscuits. Okay. I hope it is clear. See, the story problems are very easy. Just write the values, data, what they have given properly. You write it. Then do multiplication. If you want to do multiplication, you should be very good in the tables. At least up to 2 to 10, you should be perfect. So, bahet the tables properly. Then only you can do this lesson. That means uh, multiplication lesson properly. This completes your syllabus. I hope it is clear. Thank you.